All right, so I was just watching this video Nick Mira made a few weeks back where he was talking about if Omnisphere was still worth it in 2024. And I ain't gonna lie, I started thinking, you feel me? Because I got Omnisphere sitting right here. I actually bought it, man. I spent like four or 500 on one plugin. Called me crazy. And I get it. Like four or 500 is a lot for just one plugin. And I get that if you're just starting out making beats, you're not willing to spend that money. You feel me? Like right off the bat. So instead of just assuming if Omnisphere is or is not worth it in 2024, I figured to just make a beat only using Omnisphere, as y'all can see by the title. So that's what we're doing today. Um, by the way, if anyone over at Spectre Sonics is watching the video, my email's down in the description, man. Let's get it. So uh, for the people that are subscribed to my channel, y'all know that I don't really be using Omnisphere too much, um, but who knows it's going to change after this video. So I'm going to start out by setting the BPM. Uh, let's go for 165. Uh, change the scale to minor. Let's go for uh, F minor. So I think for the sake of this video, I'm going to go for the Omnisphere library. Also got the, the uh, Keyscape creative and the Keyscape library, but I'm just going to stick to the, the Omnisphere library. So yeah, let's uh, start out with a keyboard and uh, I might change it later. I'm just trying to get a clean sound uh, to lay down a, a melody um, so we can hear every single individual note. Start out with that. Some notes in the middle right here. There's all some bass notes under it. Let's uh, lay down something at the end right here. Something like that. So let's randomize these velocities real quick and change up the preset. <laughs> I like how this sounds, but it's like it's a little bit too like too much. You feel me? So um, I'm gonna render it out and see if we can chop something up. I like this part right. Here. Let's try rendering this first part out again, cause it's kind of uh, random. I feel like it's kind of randomized. Let's just try like that. Render it out. Pitch it down. Yeah, that's all right. Started with the EQ. I like how it sounded, but like we can take some shit out. Some of the highs. So compress it a little bit. Kind of even it out, all the frequencies. Not too much. Should be good. Let's open up uh, Radiator. I've used this in the past, man. It's probably one of my favorite effect plugins. It's very subtle, but I just like the way it sounds. Film. So that's some space to it for Hall of Vintage Verb. Like this uh, category right here, Trons and Optical. I don't exactly know what it is, but I believe it's some like Mellotron emulations. You actually use that. Play so down some sort of counter melody. You pitch it down four. So one, two, three, four, C sharp minor. Keep it simple. I set that to a mixture track as well. I'll let's pan it to the left or right. Pan it to the right. Compression. And I think I'm only going to add some reverb to it. It's really blended in. Just some ambience, feel me? That's perfect. Sounds cool. For me personally, uh, when using an sphere, I feel like you really gotta go crazy on the layer. So you don't want one complex melody, but you want multiple like simpler melodies to layer on top of each other. I feel like with sphere that sounds better. That's cool, that's cool. 
Once again, like I said, very subtle. Let's see if this sounds good with some low end. Yeah. Kind of add some low end in the sample as well. Still need that. Oh, that's perfect. Let's bend this to the left. So we got a melody pan to the right and to the left. And what that does is it makes the whole sample sound a little bit wider instead of having all your melodies panned in the middle. You feel me? Take some of the low end out. I feel like as soon as you start using compression and compresses on your samples and melodies and shit, you can't go back to not using them. Oh, if that makes sense. Uh, maybe some distortion. One of my favorite uh, distortion plugins. Sounds good. That's all. Turn it down a little bit. Next, I think some sort of vocal would sound uh, good on it. I believe one of these presets will be used in, uh, in a future song, I believe. to mix track Let's put a shelf on that so it doesn't get too muddy like that make it louder with the compressor and let's pan it from left to right with the shape of box like that it sounded full already but i want to be able to take things out and kind of switch between the the melodies when arranging the beat let's see if we can do something with the melody we started out with all right never mind I actually cut everything out oh, i got this preset right here i'll click on sound match the light speed theremin and i just kept the root notes Like, it looks very simple, and I usually wouldn't do this, but, like, you, you really gotta step away from how it looks, you feel me? Like, it looks very simple, but if you just take the piano roll out, it sounds good, you feel me? Like, you don't want to do too much. Like, it looks very simple, but if it sounds good, don't do too much. Uh, I'm thinking to just pan this, like, all the way to the right. Like, you don't really notice it until you take it out. That's hard, bro, that's hard. Take all of these lower frequencies out. Right, something that's missing still is a uh, sub bass, some low end. Probably go for the growl and moog bass. Probably my favorite uh, sub bass out of Hymn Street. Just sounds good. Send that to a mix as well. Cut some of the highs out. Let's add one more melody to it. And I think we're just going to copy over the main melody. Uh, so we can kind of alternate between this melody right here and the new melody. Go into keyboards. Just browse the presets. to it I don't feel like it needs too much and it's right I saw my raising it real quick right now and I feel like we can maybe change some of the notes up on the keys we just copy this over Just for the, just for the sample. All right, so let's uh, lay in some drums in the sample. Uh, like always, every single drum sound I'm gonna be using came uh, from my Heaven Sun drum kit and my Rook Season drum kit. The only drum kits I got out right now. Oh, uh, and it's all you need to lay down hard drums. If you feel me like both kits go hand in hand. You feel me if you got these both kits, 
That's all you need. Like I said, oh, I got 808s, bonus loops, claps, effects, hi-hats, kicks, open hats, perks, snares. Got uh, 10 custom FL themes in my half a cent drum kit. So if you fuck with the sounds I'm going to be using in this beat, make sure to go check it out. I have a link down to the first link down in the description. Oh, so yeah, let's get it. I laid out a new pattern right here. I'm going to start it with the hi-hat and uh, snare or a clap. Uh, let's really get the bounce going and see where I want to go with the 808 and uh, shit like that. I'm used to Go for this one. Got a crash to it. Let's go spice up the highest a little bit. Oh, that's all, man. Yo, I'd open that in it. That's a lot of bounce to it. Yo. Is this down? So we could go for something like a spins. Um, but I've been using this one a lot lately. Got a very slow attack, and I like the way how it sounds. Like I know a lot of people like they gotta use kicks and all that shit, but I feel like it always with slow attacks. Sound good too. So let's see if this works. We might change it later. Who knows? <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm thinking. Oh, we got this counter snare right here. Oh, if we layer the 808, like on the same notes. Damn. See how it's short spin sounds. It's hard to. Yeah. I mean, we gotta alter between the two, bro. Like, they both sound good. This shit for a verse. This one for the hook. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it for today's video. I'm really interested in what y'all think. So let me know in the comments down below if y'all think Amosphere is worth it or not. I'll read every single comment. Or if you got any future video ideas or things you want to see on the channel, also make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Like I always want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end. Uh, I believe we just passed 32k on the channel, so I really want to thank y'all for that. So don't forget to subscribe, uh, check out my drum kits, all that shit. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video, man. So y'all stay safe. I'm out.